Good morning, lip syncers. It is 8.15 a.m. I am already in full face, and there's a lot of drama to get to this week. So let's get right started, shall we? Vicuel. Here's where you are for me in the competition. You maybe don't have the broadest available tool set to you. You have a syncing style, and you do that really well. But you're not like a Meryl Streep. You can't do everything. I think, however, you know this about yourself, which is why this was a smart sync for you to deliver this week. You have a background, you have a costume, you have a whole Willy Wonka theme, and that sort of works with you so that though you're only doing one basic thing, you have other surprises for us, like the raining chocolate or the chocolate sauce. I do worry what that means for you as this competition moves forward, because if you run out of ideas, you may also run out of votes. I would encourage you to try to find the diversity in your performance, because props and costumes and backgrounds aren't going to be enough to get you through. That said, I know this sounds negative. I did like the sink, I just haven't had my coffee yet. Mwah. El Sunday. I think this is actually the best performance you've delivered thus far. You had a whole concept that wasn't based on video editing, but on an actual character performance, and it was something that you could really commit to in terms of the slightly boozy lady who was still having an energetic good time. I think this was really within your wheelhouse in terms of what you're good at delivering as a performer. I will say that where you fall short for me still is in the lip sync itself. I haven't seen you deliver a performance yet where you don't drop a lyric somewhere or have sort of a mush mouth thing going on. You're in general pretty good, but I need this to be tight, tight, tight if you're going to win, win, win. So that's where you need to work. But keep the energy up and do more performances like this and I could see you going far, darling. Axel Knight 0717. You do really well when you have something to sell. When you have, you know, drink and you take a drink. When you have that fan to cool you off. You have a good sense of how to portray certain lyrics. But when you're unsure of how to portray the lyric, particularly when you don't have a literal interpretation, you dance and you give us diva eyes, but you maybe don't connect with the meaning. So to step it up, what I need from you, A, better lighting, B, a filter that doesn't further darken the screen so that I can actually see all of your face, but most importantly, C, I need you to connect with the meaning of the song consistently, even when the meaning isn't something as specific as drink or hot. So when you say, don't believe me, just watch, I need you to mean that in some meaningful way. I need that to be like, don't believe me, just watch. You know, you have to give us that. So. Think more about the story you're telling, and I will love your next sync. I liked this one, but I want to love it. The letter G. I like that you consistently raise your own bar. You set a new standard for yourself every time you make a video. This was so genuine. This was heartfelt. This was a sync that you connected to emotionally. Also, you had a lot of practical lighting effects that I think were at least partially intentional. That first moment when you put the camera down so we could see the light above you and it changed everything, which I didn't expect from a sink that was in a hotel bathroom. So you found ways to use the practical surroundings in a really smart way. I will say that I didn't need the caption about the lady shouting you out of the window because if I hadn't had that there, I wouldn't have known that it wasn't your intention to step out of the window, and the slightly comedic moment broke what was otherwise a really heartfelt moment. So watch that you are maintaining the tone that you set. But I was really impressed that you gave us a connected and felt lip sync, which is hard to pull off. Nicely done, maybe. Mwah. Calypso Overkill. I don't think a lot of people are going to look back and think that this was their favorite sync of yours, but I think we're going to be able to look back at you over the whole competition and see what a range you've delivered, and I think that that's why this was a really smart lip sync to deliver at this moment. You had just done something huge, and so you pared it down, you gave us a really scaled down beauty, a really earnest sense of sadness, you took everything to the bare minimum, 
And while that didn't knock it out of the park, it was a really brilliant choice when you think about the whole competition. So this was a good idea and I'm actually really impressed with it because I know that we are all going to look back in the finale where you will probably end up and think, wow, she gave us a lot of different things. So well done, lady. Girls, what's my weakness? There's a concept in comedy writing, putting a hat on a hat. It's when you have a funny idea and a funny idea and you mash them together even though they don't necessarily merge and the two do not add up to more than the sum of their parts. That, unfortunately, is what we have with this week's video. You have the jelly salesman thing, which would be really funny if we got to see you making this a song about selling jelly. Instead, it just traps you behind the counter, behind props like charts and things that don't necessarily add. Then, we have the idea of the balloons in the tights, which is great. This is a song about a big booty, and you made it that, and you worked it. You came alive once you came out in front of the camera and danced, your face was bigger, your movements were stronger, I was way more interested. So this should have been that the whole time. The first half of the video fell flat for me, the second half nailed it. So overall I'm happy because you really brought it home by the end, but make sure you think for next week about what's going to actually get you performing and engaging your audience versus what is a lot of work to make props for less payoff, really. Ms. Gloria Swan song. I think your face would look more defined with just a bit of blush if you have some. Just kidding. Anyway, I think that you were a little limited by having the headphones on and you knew that and you had to work around it and that's just what it is. So next week, don't wear headphones if you can avoid it. But having that limitation in mind, you served us so much face, and that is so important to these videos. You used what you had. You had eyebrows and cheeks and mouth and all of that, and I, I liked it. I liked that you gave us that. It wasn't as amazing as it could have been if you could have moved around, but you had the concept of Born This Way being naked except for all of this, and you used all of this. So. Nicely done overall. Pierre Cruz. I'm going to start with the positive that I knew as soon as the Shakira started playing that we were going to enjoy ourselves because you were going to live it up, lip syncing this fabulous song and shaking it and just being the entertaining, lovable guy that you are. As we move forward in this competition, you might need to develop a little more of a killer instinct. Detail orientation is extremely important, and your videos are fun, but it seems like you have fun and you put it out there. Last week, you ended up being flawless, but I'm not sure if that was intentional. This week, you didn't frame the video so that we could actually see your hips and verify that they were not lying. You messed up the lyrics and you just sort of threw a smiley face on it instead of moving on or reshooting so you didn't screw up the lyrics. Details like that are going to matter later in the competition, so if you want to last, you're going to need to be a little more cutthroat about making sure that you put out a perfect video every time. Or, if you're here to have fun, that's great, but you might need to accept having fun in the middle of the pack. Korok. This is another lip sync that proves that you don't actually need a giant concept and props and huge costumes and whatever else to make things work. You just need to be able to sell it with your face. Being this close up with this little motion is daring and I think that you did very well with it. I was connected with you. I was part of what you were doing and it felt intimate but fierce and fabulous and dark all at once. I will say that I was so into your main performance that I didn't look down at the little white man in the corner at all. So that didn't necessarily add to it. And then when he popped up at the end, I was, ah! Uh, I liked the look and I want to see more of this crazy eye patch robot in the future, but it didn't necessarily need to be in this lip sync. I'm not sure that it added a whole lot. The main thing you had going on was wonderful, and 
I think you can keep doing that and do very well. Holy shtick. Well, this is embarrassing. I got out of drag and showered and ate breakfast and drank coffee and then sat down to edit this video and realized that my critique of you was so blurry. Just like, I was like a weird orange shape. Uh, and it was completely unusable, so I had to redo it in my boy face. Um, apologies for that. I think that your video was phenomenal. I think it merged your strength of planning and choreography with the charisma and excitement that you brought to your first week's video. So this was, like, you nailed it, you know? It was fun, and it had pizzazz, but it was also really well-planned and choreographed. Um, your dad's involvement was adorable, and I love it for that, but even before that, I thought that this was just a fantastic offering, and I'm really happy that you shared it with us. Thank you. And now the two competitors who did not submit videos. Or, in Edie Centric's case, submit videos yet. Edie, I hope that you can continue on in this competition. I'd love to say that I'm an impartial judge, but I'm not, and I think you know that you are one of my favorites in this competition. I would love to see you continue, because I think you are so good at this. And if you cannot carry on with us in the main competition, then please, carry on. I would love to see the videos that you submit, regardless of whether they are for votes or simply for our enjoyment and yours. Daisy Mayhem. I know that you came into this competition worried that you wouldn't perform well, and you have knocked it out of the park since then. I'm not sure what your reasons are for leaving, but I know that you thought hard about it, and I know that it must have been a difficult choice. I hope that the time with us has been good for you. I hope that you have learned that you can be confident in what you put out there, because you are so, so good. And you have fans now, more than before. And we appreciate that you joined us for the time that you did. If you have the opportunity to come back in the future to post in the carry-on threads or simply to chat with us or, I don't know, to make a random video that you just feel like making, we'd love to have you around still, even if you couldn't stay for this part of the journey. It's been a delight having you. <sighs> well, that was serious, wasn't it? Enough of that. I'm a drag queen. I'm not supposed to have emotions. Well, I need to wash all of this bullshit off, and then I need to go hit refresh every 10 minutes on the off chance that either of our missing contestants posts something. And if you don't, then you're dead to me. Well, for now. I forget so quickly. I'm old. See you kids next week. Mwah!